So over on GitHub, a user has released a new experimental plugin for SDR Uno. Now this new SDR Uno plugin has been designed to decode and display ACARS data. Now if you're not sure what ACARS is, let me briefly explain. ACARS stands for Aircraft Communication Addressing and Reporting System. Technically, these are packets of data sent between aircraft and listening ground stations. The type of data included in these ACARS messages can vary from air traffic control messages to flight management data, to equipment health and maintenance data, and even status events like out of the gate, off the ground, and into the gate. Now we've seen some dedicated ACARS decoders in the past, which require the use of something like VB audio cable to route the audio output from SDR software to a third party decoder. But with this new experimental plugin, it all works within SDR Uno. SDR Uno, which is SDR Play's flagship software for use with their RSP SDR devices, allows users to create their own plugins, which add benefits and features to an already great software. Now this ACARS plugin is experimental, so it's possible you may experience issues in these early versions. However, this is how you install it. First, you need to download the required files. Now this GitHub user actually has a few other SDR plugins available, which we will not really cover in this video, but you can download the whole repository if required. Now find the ACARS files, there should be three, Copy them and then paste them into the community plugins folder on your computer. This is normally located in your documents folder. Of course, you would have had to have SDR Uno already installed for the community plugins folder to be available. Now, once copied, you can go ahead and start SDR Uno. Now, ACAR's transmissions work on a frequency close to 130 megahertz, depending on which country you're in. So make sure your connected antenna is capable of receiving these frequencies. Now, after pressing the start button on SDR Uno, you can now go and find the ACARS plugin in the plugin window, select it, and then press the load plugin button. Now, a new window will appear, and this is where the decoded ACARS messages will display. You'll need to adjust the region and the frequency from the two drop down boxes available, but once set correctly, you should be able to see ACARS transmissions on the waterfall and then decoded ACARS messages on the decoder window. What you'll notice in this example is that there is at least two frequencies being used for ACARS in my area. Now these frequencies are predefined in the drop down box within the plugin. So I would recommend that you keep an eye on this and then choose the frequency which appears to have the most activity. Now I'm running Windows 11 via Parallels on my Mac M1 and I've noticed that the plugin does crash when selecting certain buttons. But if I leave it running like this, then it works fine. My next test will be to test this plugin on my Windows 10 computer. Now, if you've tried this new plugin, then let me know down in the comments what you think of it and how you think it could be improved. Remember, this is a third party plugin. So for any support or feature requirements, then please contact the author through the GitHub page, which I'll link below. Until the next video, stay safe, take care. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.